In section one, we're going to focus on voice and data VLAN. Here you're required to configure a voice VLAN for HQ phone, site B phone, and site C phone with the following VLAN ID 302 for sorry, uh, H 102 for HQ, 302, 502 respectively for site B and site C. Uh, because these IP phone will have a PC port and therefore we're going to assume a PC is connected to it or going to be. So therefore we must make sure that the data VLANs are also configured for these particular ports as well. So I'm going to start with HQ followed by site B and then I'm going to show you how to configure the VLAN for site C. First thing I'm going to do is create a voice VLAN and data VLAN for HQ. VLAN 102, name HQ voice. It is important that you name the VLAN properly. VLAN 202, name HQ data. All right, now my IP phones on HQ switch is connected to port two and three. So I'm going to use the range command, two to three. And then I'm going to define switch port access VLAN 202, switch port voice VLAN 102, switch port mode access, which is a default anyway, but just to make sure. Type show run. Now your first port is your router port. This is where your uh, HQ router is connected, that port must be trunk because we, we are carrying a two different VLAN across that particular port. The native VLAN on that port should be set to 202, which is the same thing as your data VLAN. For the port two and three, uh, respectively, the data VLAN and the voice VLAN has been assigned. Now I will go to site B. Now site B, the phones are directly connected. So as you can see, the phone is directly connected to site B. So what we're going to do on this board, we're going to assign the data VLAN and voice VLAN. So config T and same thing, VLAN 302, name site B voice, VLAN 402, name site B data. Because there's only one port, we're just directly going into that port. We're going to say switch port.